Brock Besser has made the All-Star Game, yes, in this video, I wanted to talk about just the All-Star Game, because Brock Besser, we all know the kind of season he's having, he's 40 points in, and he's on pace for like, however many, I think it's like 77 points or whatever, and he's on pace for 40 plus goals, which is beautiful, I love that very much, and... I know all the Vancouver Canucks fans are just cheering their heads off. It's funny, we never got this excited about Bo Horvat making the All-Star Game, or Radim Verbata making the All-Star Game. This is the first Canucks rookie to make the All-Star Game since Dave Talon in the 70s. We didn't get Trevor Linden making the All-Star Game in his debut. We didn't get that for Burray. We didn't get that for McGillney because, well, McGillney, he wasn't a rookie when we played with us. That's awesome, man! Brock Besser is creating history in this fanatically good season that he's having, and... He's the only rookie in there. Clayton Keller? Nope, he didn't make it. The Coyotes got Ekman Larson going there. McAvoy? Nope, he didn't make it either. The Bruins only got Marshan. Barzal? Nope, he didn't make it. The Islanders got Tavares and Bailey. And really, if you could argue, if the Islanders deserved one more player there, it would have been Anders Lee. Barzal comes at a very close second place in that run. So, Barzal didn't make it either. Looking at the other rookies, Jesper Brat? Nope. Heeshear? Nope. Taylor Hall was the only New Jersey representative. And looking at the Avalanche, Kerfoot? Nope, they only got McKinnon. Daunton Heinen from the Bruins? Nope. As I said, the Bruins didn't get anybody else other than Marshan. So, really, it's just the best of the best. And I know the All-Star Game, it's basically a joke. I know that the past few years, we haven't really cared about the All-Star Game because nothing really spectacular has been happening like John Scott or Radim Verbata, I guess. That's like the most significant thing in the past few years for Canucks fans, in my opinion. But... Yeah, we're caring about the All-Star Game now because Brock Besser made it. And it's interesting, like, why this is news. Because, as I said, when Bo Horvat made the All-Star Game last year, the hype wasn't nearly as strong as it is for Besser this year. Because everybody loves Besser this year. And everybody wants to see this kid succeed. So it's totally awesome that he made the team. I'm just so in love with it, and I can't wait to see him rip 4 for 4 on the skills competition for shooting into the net. So, yeah, Brock Besser, he's an NHL All-Star. But talking about all the other players who made the All-Star game, though, I already mentioned the other 2015 draft class guys, Eichel, McDavid, Hannafin stuff, but I kind of wanted to go over all the other rosters just to talk about who I think is good and who I think might have been snubbed a little bit. Looking at the Atlantic, you got five Lightning players. Well, four, including the coach. So, John Cooper, the coach, Tampa Bay Lightning. Stamkos, Tampa. Kucherov, Tampa. Defense, you got Hedman, Tampa. Goalie, Vasilevsky, Tampa. So, other than that, who else is on the team? Well, you got Austin Matthews from Toronto. He's the only Toronto representative. Barkov from Florida. He's doing really well. I, I really like that pick. Marshand from Boston. Surprised that McAvoy wasn't picked. Low key. Eichel from Buffalo. He's the other 2015 guy I mentioned. Eric Carlson from Ottawa. Of course, you gotta have him in. Mike Green from Detroit. Now, Detroit, I, you, I really don't know who else you could have picked from Detroit. Like, Larkin, apparently he's not doing as well as he has been at least recently. I mean, last year, I know Larkin had a bad season last year. This year is tremendously better than last year's, but still isn't necessarily quote-unquote good. I don't know, man. The Detroit Red Wings, they're just not that good anymore. Mike Green, I've heard that he's had a good season, so I, okay, he deserves to be there, I guess. Carey Price is Montreal's goaltender, and he is their only representative, so yeah. That's an interesting one, and overall, you could have made the case for other guys, like, oh, where is Evander Kane? Doesn't he have, like, 17% of all Buffalo goals? Yeah, that's true, but where would you fit him? Like, y you don't take off Kucherov or Stamkos for him, you don't take off Matthews, because that's, that's one of the players from Toronto, you don't take off Florida. Really, this is just a collection of one player per team, as well as five Tampa Bay people. So yeah, Tampa Bay, they're dominating. Looking at the Metropolitan Division, we got a few Capitals. So Barry Trotz, Capitals coach, head coach of the Metropolitan Division. Alex Ovechkin, Washington's captain, Metropolitan's captain. Also from Washington, we have ourselves Braden Holtby, who is the goaltender. One of two, Henrik Lundqvist is the other one, and he is the only New York Ranger. 
looking at the forward core here, I really expected Phil Castle to make it. Like, Kessel, I believe he should have been in it 100%. Crosby is the Pittsburgh Penguins representative here, and, you know, they have Letang too, so that's good. I mean, Letang and Crosby, they started off the season very, very poorly. It's nice to see that they're back up there, but in all honesty, I would have rather seen Kessel instead of Crosby. Other than that, we got two Islanders, so Josh Bailey and John Tavares. Really, you could have made a case for any of the three. Any of the three on that top line, and Barzal as well, because Barzal is always the Calder favorite or whatever. He's one of those guys. Or you could have said, oh, Anders Lee, Josh Bailey, Tavares, and we got Tavares and Bailey here. Bailey, absolutely, he deserves to be there. Like, just based off of his performance this year alone, Anders Lee deserves to be there as well, and you could argue Barzell, but, you know, you can't. we already seen what happened when you have five people from one team in one um, all-star team. So, yeah, just to avoid complications, they only went with Tavares and Bailey, so, okay. Another interesting thing here is the fact that Claude Giroux made it, but not Couturier or Voracek. You could argue just as much as Anders Lee or Barzal that Voracek or Sean Couturier should have made the team. Because Couturier, he's the trigger man on that top line. Giroux and Voracek, they're one and two in assists in the league. Voracek is first, Giroux is second, or it's the other way around, but either way, they're one and two. So, really, a lot of, I, I could I could totally understand why some people would be pissed off that Voracek didn't make it, and the fact that they only went with Giroux when they really, like, Voracek and Couturier both deserved to make the team, but I think this is just a testament, man, like, there are so many good players, so many good players that couldn't make these teams because they just didn't have enough room. Same thing with the defense. Seth Jones? Why is it Seth Jones? I was expecting Wierenski to be there. Noah Hannafin? Ooh, he's really improved. He's made this all-star team. Chris Letang on the Penguins? Good for him. He's he's becoming better. Central Division, we got ourselves Patrick Kane from Chicago, Nathan McKinnon from Colorado, Wheeler from Winnipeg, Shen from St. Louis, and Eric Stahl from Minnesota. I was surprised about this one. This one I was kind of like, oh, I wonder who they're going to pick from Minnesota, and it turns out to be Eric Stahl. So yeah, that's good. They didn't take Jamie Benn. They took Tyler Sagan, so it's going to be Sagan by himself. Colorado, Nathan McKinnon, absolutely. He deserves to be there, 100%. He's like top five in points in the league. Patrick Kane, Chicago, you know I'm not going to complain about that because recent years, you know, I'd like to have this instead of having, oh, let's get Taves, Kane, Keith, Seabrook, and Crawford all going to the All-Star game. I can do with just Patrick Kane. Thank you very much. Defense, we got Nashville's P.K. Subban. Instead of Yossi, there's no Yossi. Which, I mean, you could argue he deserves to be there. I won't, because I'm not a Nashville fan. I don't know too much about that. So, yeah, you guys can argue about that. Petrangelo for the Blues. Absolutely. Petrangelo's a monster. And Jonathan Klingberg. Is his first name Jonathan, or is it just John? I don't know. Klingberg is surprisingly really good this season, and he could win the Norris. Which is crazy, because just two years ago, people were like, Ooh, Klingberg, he might become really good, or, oh, I don't know. He's in that conversation. And speaking of players who might win trophies that nobody expected them to win, Connor Hellebuck. He might win the Vesna this year. He's arguably the best goaltender in the league this year, which is incredible because he's always been that guy who, oh, I wonder who the Jets are going to start today. I wonder if the Jets are going to call him up from the AHL. Hellebuck is genuinely one of the hottest goalies in the league right now, which is awesome. And then finally our Pacific Division, we got... Goudreau, Neal, Raquel, Kopitar, alongside of Brock Besser. Doughty, Burns, and Ekman Larson for defense. And Quick and Flurry are the goaltenders. I'm surprised about this one. I really thought for certain that Malcolm Subban would be one of the goaltenders. Just because of the fact that, ooh, he's like the number one guy over there in Vegas right now. And they love the hell out of him. Marc-Andre Fleury has only played a limited number of games this year. And that's because of injuries. But you can't discredit the fact that his goals against average and save percentage are like number one in the league right now. So statistically speaking, he deserves to be there. But like just morally speaking, man, like play the play the dude who's been playing out of his mind and who is a rookie. So yeah, Malcolm Subban doesn't make it. Flurry makes it instead. And speaking of the Golden Knights, James Neal made it over like Carlson and Marcia So. 
people were pissed off that Neal made the All-Star team instead of Carlson, because Carlson genuinely deserves to make it, and I'm not gonna argue with James Neal being on the team, because, like, basically everyone from that Golden Knights team is really proving their worth, but, man, people are pissed off. Anaheim with Ricard Raquel, I'm okay with that, because I don't really know who else they could have picked. I mean, Yetzlav, he was out for a good portion of the season, so he can't really be considered. Um, looking at the Kings, the Kings got three players, Kopitar, Doughty, and Quick. Kopitar absolutely deserves it. He's having a huge bounce-back year. Doughty, consistently one of the best defensemen in the league. Quick, arguably one of the Vesna candidates this year. I mean, Quick could easily win the Vesna alongside that name, Connor Hellebuyuk, as well. Calgary's pick, Gaudreau, okay, expected. McDavid's pick from the Edmonton Oilers, yep, that's expected. And Brock Besser from the Canucks, absolutely expected, alongside of Burns and Ekman Larson. So, really, it's, it's awesome, man. Like, Besser, he absolutely deserved it. Nobody else on the Canucks really could have gone, because Horvat's out, Tanev's out, yeah, you know that. Um, Besser, 40 points, first in the rookie scoring race, and... It's a beautiful thing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This video is for plus, and you can also like and subscribe to gaming, and bye.